All right, guys, what's up? YouTube gang. Out here on Lake Cumberland. I only got off the main lake here so you can hear me a little bit. As you can tell from the flowing locks coming out of my hat, uh, we're still on quarantine. So it's the second week of April. Smallmouth are, are trying to come up and spawn. Uh, they may already be spawning. Um, down here on the lower end of the lake, fishing some pretty deep, clear water. And uh, just throwing the uh, Mega Bass 110 plus one. You know, a little bit extra deep diving because this water is definitely up. And we're just going to see if we can't... Uh, if you can't find a few fish, I'm actually pre-fishing for a tournament uh, this this coming Saturday, a couple days. So we're just coming out here, seeing what we can find, seeing if we can uh, catch a few on a jerk bait. You know, these conditions really are perfect uh, for a jerk bait. Bright, sunny, a little bit windy, clear water, warming water, rising water. I mean, all the conditions are actually pretty good. And the water's still not super warm. Uh, 55 degrees is what I'm showing. So it's not super warm. Yet. Now I suspect the further back in these pockets we go, the warmer it's going to get. So we'll just throw this jerk bait right up along the bank, kind of parallel these steep banks, and just see what happens. Not a bad, not a bad little jerk bait fish for Lake Town. Oh, this looks just bad. This fish is kind of nasty. Got a lot of dark spots on him and a lot of sores. Got a lot of sores on this fish. Ugh. Got a hook or something came right out of this tree. Throwing this jerk bait on the new uh, Shimano Poison Adrena rod. It's a 610 medium plus and. Uh, Throwing the Corrado DC on it. Makes for a pretty awesome combo. Not a giant, but definitely a really nice smallmouth. A lot of fun on that jerk bait. Windblown point in the shade, right after a big long pause. Nice fish. You know, in these kind of situations where the wind is really pushing you down the bank, um, really good idea to drop that skeg. Drop the skeg kind of slows you down and it helps keep you straighter so you're not having to make too many adjustments. Because I really, I really want to parallel this bank as best I can and try and get this jerk bait really close to the bank. Uh, you know, it breaks off. And I'm really close to the bank and I'm still in 20 foot of water. So um, I want to get this jerk bait as close to the bank as I can. But I also want to parallel it. So dropping that skeg really helps keep your alignment right. Especially with the wind at your back pushing you down this bank. There we go. Little itty bitty bass. He swiped at it. I've got him fail hooked. Another little Kentucky. Nice spot. Hell, yeah, that's a large one. Yeah. <clears throat> 
Just a little Kentucky bass. Well, you got a lot of hooks. That's what I like about these mega bass. My God, they they stick them. Little Kentucky. You know, that's what's so good about these DC reels. I just smack the water with my bait. Normally, that would probably backlash, but because I'm using the DC, it caught it. No backlash. That's what uh, really what sets those reels apart. We're working that jerk bait around uh, some of these outside banks. Uh, and that's where we've been picking up some of the spotted bass. But uh, as you can see, Back here in these pockets, these largemouth are definitely moving up to spawn. Uh, that's a nice fish right there on a jerk bait, real shallow. Look how bloody, I don't know if you can see it, maybe in the sunlight there. You can see how bloody that tail is. So he's definitely uh, moving up here, been rubbing on a bed. We're gonna go ahead and get him back, but ate that jerk bait. Well, that was fun <laughs> you know I trash talked the Ned rig quite a bit this is uh, only the third fish I've caught on it pretty nice little smallmouth I'll take that any day of the week that was a lot of fun on the old Ned rig throwing that uh, jackal yammy fish the three inch it's got a lot of action for a little bait I'm not gonna trash talk it no more Beautiful big fat smallmouth out here on Lake Cumberland. Look at her getting up here ready to spawn. Beautiful fish. Yes, sir. That's what I'm talking about. Nice big smallmouth. What a way to start a tournament, huh? Same pattern, running the old jerk bait. 19 inch fish. Look how fat. Awesome fish. You know, that bank was so good to me. I think I may have to turn around and go back down it. Uh, I missed one. Had a hold of what I think was another one and then caught a big fat 19 incher. I can't, I think, I think I better go back down that, that bank. That big one spit up a little shad. So they're eating right, right in that area. And this jerk bait looks just like that little shad, at least enough to fool them. And if they're sitting out there feeding, I probably ought to make another pass.
God, don't let this fish get out. Guys, that wraps up my second day out here on Lake Cumberland. Today was actually tournament day, uh, the first part of the video. Uh, I was pre-fishing for this tournament. Caught a few on a jerk bait and a Ned rig, and that's exactly what I came out here and did again today. Uh, conditions changed around noon, and uh, my clouds went away, the wind laid down, and that kind of killed my jerk bait uh, bite that I had going. So switched over to the Ned rug, Ned rig, scrounged out a few, and. Uh, We'll see where we ended up. I, I don't know if uh, it'll show up or not, but I had a few fish that followed my bait back to the boat that if any of those fish get in the boat, different deal, but that's fishing, so. Uh, appreciate you guys watching and stick around for the next one.